BC's opposition leader faced a tough crowd at the Council of Forest Industries convention. While he didn't reveal any platform secrets, he did make a couple of promises to the industry. We do have options and we do have choices, but we don't have many of them. That's a challenge. It set the tone for NDP leader Adrian Dix's speech to the delegates at the Council of Forest Industries luncheon. On several occasions, Dix talked about the need for government and industry to work together to address those challenges. He also made two promises targeted at the forest industry. He spoke of the need to put together a comprehensive inventory of the forest resources. We need to address forest health now, and that means re-establishing an inventory worthy of its name in BC so that we make decisions based on science. I was in Kamloops a couple of weeks ago and saw uh, a timber supply area there that hadn't essentially the, the inventory dates to 1991 before the mountain pine beetle. It's completely out of date. Nachako Lakes MLA John Rustad was a member of the all-party midterm timber supply committee. He agrees an inventory is needed but says it would be foolhardy to do it in the height of a crisis like the mountain pine beetle epidemic. As it changes so rapidly from year to year, now that we're through the epidemic we're actually investing. We've got a plan over the next five years where the, all of the pine beetle impacted areas are going to be re inventoried We're going to be able to do that work so we have a better sense of the base and actually across the entire province over the next 10 years all the areas will be re -inventory. Dix says without an inventory government is making decisions in a vacuum but Rustad disagrees with that statement. You have to understand how inventories are, are used. You have a baseline and then every single year that information is updated. So there's there's information that people fly over, they do the mapping, they bring that information, it goes into the database and all those calculations are made and so you can make good decisions for the inventory purposes for annual allowable cuts. Dix says timber supply is one of the top three concerns facing forestry today. The other is skilled labor, something he promised to address if elected. That's a key question for our economy and our society. We're addressing inequality but also prosperity in our communities. And so the issue of skills training has been at the centerpiece of every speech I've given for two years, every meeting I've had with the business community and with labor, and it will continue to be uh, the key uh, priority we face as a government is addressing this question of skills training. He says he'd make good on a promise to create a non-refundable student grant to help make training more accessible. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.